Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, I've had four years um, at the club, first year in the youth team, and then uh, you know to get fast tracked into the first team the way I did, I was very fortunate to be given the opportunity by the club to to play at such a young age. Um, you know, to play in the first team and then to go on and represent the club in the continental sense in the Asian Champions League was fantastic. Um, and I'll be forever grateful for the chance that the club gave me. Um, you know, until the day I to the day I retire. So. Um, the club's done great things for me and, uh, and the club will continue to grow and grow up, no doubt about that. Yeah, I've been really fortunate to have a really good um, couple of coaching staffs at the club to make me you know, come along as a player and um, you know, from day one it was all about improvement for myself and um, improving every week and, and showing that I could be um, a consistent player at, at, at such a high level. So. Um, it was just about improving and, and like I said, I was lucky that I had a good coaching staff around me and great players around me to, um, to support me and to help me through that process of getting better all the time. Obviously the people that you meet at the club, everyone's fantastic and the relationship you build um, with people at the club, you know, over a four year period, obviously you, you build such a, a, a strong relationship with, with a lot of people and then obviously the fans, um, everyone knows that the fans are some of the best in the league. So. I'm going to miss playing in front of the RBB and, and the experience that gives you and the vibe that gives you when you get on to, out on the pitch and um, you know little things like playing in a Sydney derby, um, you, know, you miss that sort of stuff but um, you know, I'll look back on that stuff with fond memories um, later on but you know, now it's just about progressing and looking forward to my next step in my career.